Hello everyone, it's this Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you all so much for taking our time to join me today. Hope everyone is feeling great today. I am here to share a project share with you all from Globeland. I am a guest designer for Globeland and I got a chance to work with some of their products that I have selected from their website. I will have all the products as well as their website listed in the description box along with a coupon code that they were so kind to give me. That coupon code is LANE10 to save 10% off of your order. So make sure you definitely take advantage of that offer. So today I have worked with a few of their products. The first item being this item right here which happens to be this stamp set. I just used this stamp right here um, to kind of just show you what it would look like if you was to use one of the tags from this die set. So the die set that I'm referring to will um, happen to be this set right here. And this is the Globeland pencil case die set that came with two different sets of pencils. Now this one right here makes for a single box where you can hold a pencil to gift it. And I wanted to get these so that way I can box up some of the different pencils and pens and different markers and even some of my um, pokey tools. That was my reason for choosing this item. Now this one here, this one is the bigger box that can actually hold up to maybe four, maybe even five pens or markers. And I really like this one. This one was easier to work with. And this particular one right here happens to be really big. This is a really good size and I like the fact that it had this little area right here at the top where you can even hold it on the pegboard. And it also has like a lace trim. So this one was really, really easy to work with like I mentioned. This one I got on the first try, very simple, very easily. And I'm going to show you what that one right here looks like now. So this particular die set right here makes for a box so what I did was I made a box where you can see it where it's a closed version as well as an open window so you can get the image so you can see exactly what this die looks like I'm so glad you guys are here so you can see so this is what this die set makes this is the pencil box or you can use it for pens or markers or even like a small candy bar which would be great too to give so this is what I made um, I used some scrap paper that was in my stash and this happens to be the box right here. You can see how I did it two sided um, with using different um, colors here. I went with a solid color here and I went with a pattern here. I added some diamond dots um, to this box in the center of the flower just to add a little bling. You don't have to do that but I just want to show you some different ways you can definitely use it. Up here this one closed a little different. Um, that's one of the things I would have to say that was a little different for me. So when you open it up, I actually just went ahead and added some Velcro dots here at the top um, for the closure. So you can pull those apart. That way you don't have to destroy the whole box. And this is what it looks like in the inside. And it's really cool because I like the fact that I was able to take something I already had in my stash, which was these Velcro dots, and put it to great use. That way the box doesn't have to be destroyed when you are gifting this or using this for business purposes or just to have in your craft space. Um, so this is what the side of it looks like here. This is the bottom. So I'm really happy with this die set right here. That's the closed version of this die set for this pencil box case. And then we have the open window one. So now you can see I've added some of my Cricut markers into this open window one to kind of show you. I was able to get a good amount in there, which I really like that. Um, so you can see the difference from the closed one to the open one. This is the open window one. You can see the pattern around. I've also added this beautiful lace trim. I like the way that looks. Really, really nice and neat. I added Velcro at the top as well. And so you can see the markers inside. And... On the back, you can see how I went with a different solid paper. So you can design it with any pattern paper, which is really awesome. So I have that there. So that's my open window, and this is my closed one. So if you want to keep it a surprise, you will go with this one. If you want them to see the contents, this one would be a great one to do. So to show you two different looks. 
my next die set is for the single pen or pencil and it looks like this one right here now i'm going to be true and honest with you guys i always am when i do my videos and when i do reviews this box worked me i do a lot of 3d projects a lot of 2d projects here on my channel and i have never struggled with a die as much as i struggled with this one this one i found to be very very challenging um, I'll be honest with you, I had to um, just take a step away because it was starting to get a little frustrating. And crafting is supposed to be fun. And when I first did this box, I was not successful when I first did this box. Um, you would think something as easy as a die set like this would be pretty simple. And after I played with it for a few different tries, I eventually got it about my third try. So, I didn't give up. I just had to take a step away. And sometimes you have to do that. So this is the long piece that actually makes your box for the single pencil box. And you want to cut this one out two times. It's going to look like this right here, but let me tell you about this one here. This was my second attempt. For my second attempt, this is the pieces that you're going to have. What you don't want to do is cut it in this part where it has this flap right here. You want to take this dock piece as well as the heart. So either you use the stars because it comes with um, both. You want to take that and actually cut it on the biggest um, part of the box. So this is the side you really want to cut on with the side that have this flap right here. So you want to cut this die here in this section that have that open window. Now if you choose to keep it closed, that's on you, which would be still a nice um, pencil box. And I'm going to show you um, three different versions today of the different box, the variations, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So that's what this looks like. So you cut out these two pieces here and then you're going to turn them a different way. So you want to turn them opposite and you are going to have to use the score lines and flip them a different way. With that being said, both of these are up. You don't want both flaps on each end. You want to turn this end this way. So you want to have this one here. So it's going to look like this. So this long piece is down here. And this piece is on this end so when you get to do it you want to make sure that these um, small area for the score lines are going to be where your box is going to adhere when you get ready to fold it and use those score lines to actually make your box and I may come back and do a tutorial but I have to see how my time is looking but this is um, pretty much the tip so far on how to do that box and then this box did come with a bunch of different tag pieces as well um, so it does have a lot of different tags. You get a heart, you get an actual tag, and then you also get an oval piece as well, which is really cool. So I do like that because you can use that on other items um, in your craft space or other creations. So for that first box, I kept it solid. I didn't do an open window. I kept it closed for um, as a surprise. This is the box here and what it looks like. And then I used the stamp set um, from the... Um, one of the sets that I got also from Globeland and it looks like this that's the hip hip array so I went ahead and stamped that using one of the tags from this single box um, die set and this is what it looks like and then I used some twine from my stash as well so I used that and I just wrapped it around giving it another look there and then I just put it on there and this box right here is closed and sealed and this one can just be open right on up this one I kept empty for now um, but it looks like that and I am happy with the pattern and what that turned out but this didn't happen until like my third my second attempt my first attempt was this one right here and this box was cut multiple times this is the window when you're using the um, the circular shape um, or the oval um, to basically get that window this is what it looks like when you're doing the window you can see it's not as neat and well put together I struggled um, with this but I did eventually figure it out and I'm going to show you that last one. So that's what it looks like if you go with this open window here. And you can also even add the little stars on the end or you can do the hearts on the end. But that's what that one looks like. And then it does have a pin enclosed and I just go ahead and take that out. So you can see it now without the pin inside. So that's that one there. And now with this one, this is the one I tried again. This was my third attempt and I finally got it. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Now look how nice and clean that looks. So I really, really like the way that looks. So again, I use scrap paper, but you can see what it looks like with the stars on each end. And this is what the box looks like with the rectangle window. So here's the rectangle window and here is the oval window. So that's what they look like. 
and then here is the closed version of the um, the window there so kind of show you a variation of all the different boxes that I made that happens to be the Globeland pencil case die set and you get two sets of dies to make those pencils that can hold markers that can hold chocolate they can hold a lot of different things so that's why I wanted those dies I am glad I had a chance to play with them to see but it's amazing how this one ended up being easier to work with versus the single one. But now that I know how to do it, I'm really happy about the die now. And I just want to come on here and share the project's creation so that way you guys can actually see an actual visual versus just seeing the dies flat. So you will know exactly that to show some more of the products from Globeland. I have a few more um, creations to definitely share with you all. But don't forget to use that coupon code LANE10 to save 10% off of your order. Again, everything will be listed in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Blessings to you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.